What's up? My name is Colby Shire, fifth grade teacher in Michigan. Welcome to my channel where we try to help kids fall in love with reading. And one way that we do that is by talking about amazing books. That's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be talking about Jerry Spinelli's Dead Wednesday. Before we get too far into this book, let me know down in the comments what your absolute favorite Jerry Spinelli book is of all time. Is it Ringer? Is it Maniac McGee? Is it Stargirl? Let me know. I'm dying to know. For me, it's probably Maniac McGee. Yeah, his Newberry Medal winning book is just brilliant. Today, we're talking about Dead Wednesday, and it is a book that is just wild. It is such an interesting and unique concept. Uh, I kept thinking about what it would have been like to be like an eighth grader and reading this book in like a group with like other kids in my class. I just felt like I wanted to talk about this book as a like 14 year old with other 14 year olds. I don't know if you ever have that happen, but I felt that way so much. I couldn't even tell like, do I love this book? Do I not like this book? I, I don't even know now, uh, a few hours after finishing it, my thoughts completely on the book. And you know, maybe that's a sign of a great book, right? It's, you just can't stop thinking about it and you're curious about it. But anyways, it's about a boy. His name is Worm, For uh, they call him Worm. He lives in this like, almost like an air, like a, lives in this house, but there's also like these like cabins around his house and writers, they come and they like spend the week there, like writing, writing, writing. And they just make it so that they can write and they take care of them as his family does, serve them meals. They can come eat a meal if they want, or they can just deliver it if they're just busy writing. And this book takes place on Dead Wednesday. And Dead Wednesday is a wild concept. What Dead Wednesday is, is it's something that they have in their community once a year. It's on a Wednesday. And the eighth graders all get basically like paired up with someone from their community, a child that has died uh, in a preventable way. Maybe it was a drug overdose. Maybe it was a car accident. Um, and they all wear black, they get like these black shirts, they come to school and everyone ignores them like all day. They, it's like they don't exist. It's like they're not even there anymore. Like they're dead. And it's such a weird thing. And the kids are all like so excited about it and they've known about it for years. They've like anticipated this day of freedom where teachers won't even talk to them and they can basically just blurt out things and no one will respond. They could skip class. They could do all these different things. And they're so excited. Turns out, it's not really fun and it's pretty spooky and Worm gets paired up with Becca who is a 17 year old who died in a car accident and um, during the day they have like a half of a school day and then they can kind of do whatever they want the rest of the day but during the day Becca's ghost is there with him and he can like feel her like they could like give a high five and they could, it's not like a ghost like Casper like you put your hand through and but no one else can see her uh and they have they spend the rest of the book basically together trying to she's like thinks that she's there to help worm and it's just so interesting and you get to hear her story and how she died and she's helping Worm to see himself in a totally different way. Worm is like the shyest kid. He's got a lot of acne. He, yeah, he's uh, not very confident. And I don't know, the book is just, it's just so wild and interesting. And I just kept thinking like as a teacher, like there's no way in the world we would ever do something like this. Ever. We would never do Dead Wednesday, but I could see like a community, maybe someone thinks it's a good idea and then they run with it and then it just kind of becomes one of those things that you keep doing. But I don't know. It's a wild book. You nearly need to check it out. If you teach like upper middle school students, I think it'd be a really fascinating book to share with them. I really want to know what they thought. Even more, I want to know what I would have thought as a kid. Like I hadn't thought about myself as a reader while reading a book. I always think things like, oh, I wish I would have read that, this book when I was a kid. But like this one, I'm like, I want to know what I would have thought reading this book as a kid. So there it is. Dead Wednesday. Jerry Smelly. Check it out. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Colby Sharp. I hope you have an awesome, fantastic day.